In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to emulate a motion graphic title by using only the tools available in the current version of PowerDirector's Title Designer. That's PowerDirector 19 or 365. First of all, we're going to show you an example where we emulated that and had a motion graphic title. The first example is the motion graphic title. The second is what we did in Title Designer. Please look at these two and then we'll show you how to achieve the second result. The first thing I need to do in designing something like this is figure out what's going on in the motion graphic title. Now I have one on track number two. I have a white color board available on track one, so that's my background. So I'm going to use the period key and move frame by frame through the motion graphic title. We notice we have the word make appear and it enlarges in the center of the screen. And then what happens is it begins to rotate as I move frame by frame rotates 90 degrees, moves slightly to the left, and then locks into place. The second thing that happens is my second title begins to appear in the larger font and it comes from behind the word make and goes to the right and then it locks in. Then the third thing that happens is both of these two titles are seen as one single unit and as a unit they move up on the screen revealing underneath a third title, which is our With Power Director. And then the three titles that we have so far are treated as a single unit, and then they begin to shrink a little bit and move slightly up, I believe, and then the By Cyber Link comes down. So those are the things we have to accomplish in Title Designer. Let me show you how to do that. So on the left panel, I do have my uh, title room and I'm on the text only. I'm going to take the most generic default, my title, and drag this down on track two with a white color board in the background. So I'm going to need to edit my title to start with. I'll double click on it. It default is white, so I'll do control A and we'll pick a different color so we can see our text. I'll pick a red and I'll just type the word make in again. and we'll change it to a size of maybe 18 or 20 and I'll make it bold. And we're going to center it on the screen. Okay, now I have the word make. Now I need to make it come in and grow and also rotate. So what I'm going to do is do some keyframing and work on my anchor point. The first thing we'll do is we'll deal with the issue of making it rotate. So I'm going to set some rotation keyframes. I'll start with a uh, keyframe on rotation value with a playhead all the way to the left. Then we're going to move in slightly and I'll set another keyframe with the same value. You'll see why in a moment. And then I'll take the third keyframe and I want to rotate it here. How do we begin to do that? Well, first the thing I need to do is zoom in and I'll move down and I want to be able to display my anchor point. So I'll turn that on and now I'm going to zoom in even a little bit more with the anchor point visible. I'm going to take the mouse and hover over the anchor point. I'm going to see the push pin. I will take and drag it to the lower left corner and that's the location of my anchor point. It's in the lower left. The only thing I need to do to turn it is take the wheel around the anchor point and twist it with the mouse, and now it's 90 degrees. So there's my anchor point. I can turn it off now. I don't need it anymore. So now, if I look at what I've done so far, I have the word make, and then it rotates 90 degrees. Now I need to take the word make, and I need to make it enlarge. So I'm going to go to my second rotation anchor point. It's why I put it there. And I'm going to set a scale value at that same time. And the scale here will be what you see. I'll go back to the very beginning and I'll go back to my scale values. Here's my scale 
and I will back up to very small. It's 0.2. So now when I play it, what I have is the word make, enlarges, and rotates. So we have got the first component, the first title working the way we want. I'm going to minimize that, so now we need to do something with our second title. So once it's in place, I'm going to add another title. I'm going to uh, shrink this down just a little bit more, and we'll click on the T. That will get my second title, and we're going to put your videos. Again, I'll con do Control A. We'll change the color of it to orange in this case. And we'll change the font size from 20 to, yeah, 36 looks good. And we want it to come in behind the word make and wind up here. Now, where do we start it? I'm going to take the your videos, hover the mouse over the left side, and drag in so it, if we don't start seeing it, anything happen with it until this far in. So the word make starts to the left, and your video starts right here. This is where I want it to start. So the next thing I'm going to do is set some position keyframes. I'll set this one here and we'll move over and we'll set another one with a diamond. Now I want it to end up here but start to the left. So I go back to the first keyframe and then all I need to do is with this highlighted I'm going to take take the mouse and drag it to the left that way it will be perfectly horizontal and we're going to take the your videos after the word make is moved and it will slide to the left and become visible to the right. So I'm just holding down the keyboard. You can actually change the numbers if you want to on the XY position if you prefer to do it that way. So there's the your videos and it will come in from left to right. So let's play what we've got so far. We've got make and then your videos. Now the problem we have is we want your videos to be only visible when we get to this area here. So we have to do a title reveal mask. I'm going to click down to title reveal mask. Before I do that, I'm going to minimize even more and click on title reveal mask. Now you see the bounding box around the entire frame. This bounding box determines where the your videos and only the your videos will be visible on the screen. So I'm going to take and shrink that down. We're going to turn off Maintain Aspect Ratio on the Title Reveal Mask. And I'll drag up a bit. And then I'm going to take that and we're going to move it. Move it to the right, right beside the word Make. So the only time you'll see the orange Your Video text is when it's to the right of the word Make. Let's see if that works. We're going to go back to the very beginning. And we'll play. We have the motion on our make, and then your videos comes across. So now we have the first two components done. It's about two seconds into the project. I'm going to click on OK. The next thing we have to do is cheat the system. Because what I have discovered is that when I get this far into my text, these two things are now going to be treated as a single element. How do I do that? Well, what I'm going to do is take a picture of that and we'll treat this as a graphic. I'll do control P. That will ask what I want to name it. I'll just call it XYZ. Press enter and now I have an image. I'm going to go back and at this point I'm going to trim this. I'll do control T to cut it and we'll delete the little end of it and I'll take the your videos and I'm going to drag it down one track farther. So if we play this, we have the animation in the title and then we have it replaced by this image. Now what I need to do is to take the Make Your Videos image and make it smaller so I can move it around the screen. So before I do that, one thing I do need to do is move it back slightly and I'll show you why in a moment and I'm going to have to crop this. So I'm going to click on my crop tool with the image, your video, on the screen. We'll do freeform. And I'm going to crop the top and bottom as tight as I can around the text. And I can click on OK. Now one thing that happens when I do this is it looks like it enlarges it. So I have to get back into my PIP Designer 
and we're going to change it. See, the width is now 4.5. I want it to be 1. I'll drag over that, type in the number 1, press Enter. Now it's normal. But I do have another problem. It's not in the right position. So I'm going to turn my opacity down and move my playhead back to where the two overlap. And you notice we have the overlapping here. I'll enlarge it. So then I take my arrow keys and I'm going to move the Your Videos up until they're exactly in the same spot. That looks good right there. I'll turn the opacity back on to 100% and click on OK. And now I need to take this and drag it back so they don't overlap. I just use that to adjust the size and position of it. And now it should be seamless. It should, should look the same. But what I have now is not an entire screen. I'm going to temporarily turn off my white background. And you're going to see what I have here. I have the, the video image called Make Your Videos. So I turn that off only so you could see the positioning. I'll turn it back on. The next step will be to add another title. And so we're going to stop here and then we'll resume this process in the next tutorial.